Hey guys, what is cracking? Uh, we are back today. I am Crack Nation, coach of the Boston Bishops, and today we are taking on entertainment of the Syracuse Sylveons. Um, sorry, I look like crap. You know, I haven't really done anything yet with my day, so I look like kind of crappy. Beard is getting nice and long. You know what I'm saying? So, some history about this battle. Um, last season, Dan. Entertainment was in the finals. Uh, he was a runner-up of season three. He's a great player, great friend. Um, so check out his channel at Entertainment. Uh, he will be uploading this battle, I presume. Um, he's a good battler, a great battler at that, um, and it's going to be a really intense battle. Um, just quick recap of the team. I'm still rolling over this team in my head right now. But we got uh, leftovers, Manaphy, and I really want to make this banded Manaphy for kicks. I really want to make this banded Manaphy. I can't. It just I have this one nightmare situation where he has lantern and I have Manaphy and I have waterfall and I'm stuck and I just can't handle that. Um, but we got Baby Petrie. That's a good check to a lot of his Pokemon. I would speed kind of control the speed game as long as and reveals faster scarfs if I want to. We got Garchomp. Um, Scarf Chomp, who is also very fast, um, really hits hard. It's Adam Scarf Chomp. We got Pawn Plague with Hidden Power Ground. Giga Rains and this is Sludge Bomb. Hits a lot of stuff. We got our defensive core in Uxie and, um, and a cool Alamola spread that actually takes Grass Knots from Life Orb and Fernape Special Max Special Attack Timid. Um, that Banded Manaphy is calling me. Banded Manaphy is calling me. Um... Okay, so let's see. Actually, let's just do one little quick rundown. If we are in a situation where we have to switch out, um, he's going to switch. What are his mana if he switches normally? It's going to be his fast Pokemon. It's going to be things like Celebi, Gorgeous. I can U-turn out of those pretty easily. I can knock off also. Um, Blastoise. <sighs> what do I have to take on Blastoise? I don't really have anything for Blastoise. Super good. I think I'm going to leave it how it is. Um, I'm so scared. I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I'm not real enough. I'm, I'm not real enough. It's gonna have to be this Manaphy set. Um, oh man, okay. It's gonna do, we'll do one more quick rundown of the EVs. Everything is right. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. Let's get it started. Um, okay. I just want to make sure I'm getting the right team. Um, okay. It has to, I have to challenge Ubers just so I don't reveal whether or not he's running Greninja. Um, actually, I remember that. So I have to run... Okay. Dan is a great player. Last time the game came down, it was an hour and a half long. I refused to upload the entire thing. It was a ridiculously long game, and it was so much, and it came down to that, and I really hope this doesn't come down to that. All right. Man, if we bad or not, am I real? Am I real or not? Oh, okay, we're going to... We're doing it, we're doing it. Do it for the live. It's do it for the live. What am I saying? We're doing it. Waterfall. U-turn. Knockoff. Facade. Fast band. Adamant. We're going we're going for it, guys. We're going all the way. Um That's scary. That's so scary. That's exhilarating. Um I'll just make sure that doesn't leave us extremely vulnerable to anything. Um, Mega Blaster, we still kind of have answers to. We can pressure it. Um, right here, we still have answers to. Um, Noivern's kind of scarier now. Noivern is kind of scarier now. Um, we got to rely on outspeeding it and keeping it out of the field. Okay. Um, <sighs> waterfall, U turn, knockoff, facade. Okay, okay. Okay, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna battle him, challenge him with Bandafy, Bandafy, Bandafy. <laughs> That's crazy. It's finally coming. I've been saying for two seasons now that I'm gonna bring Bandafy to battle. 
Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, this is so scary. This is so scary. This is so scary. This is so scary. Definitely check out Entertainment's channel as well after this battle. Um, he has a lot of great content. He talk, He does like a lot of fun, more like kind of for fun stuff. I do a lot more competitive stuff. He does a lot more like actually enjoyable content. Um, definitely go and check him out. He has like some cool um, playthroughs. He's doing a Soul Silver Let's Play right now. Um, he's he also has um, a lot of OU laddering series. He does a lot of work with live streams that I actually should do at some point. <laughs> Um, he's not accepting this challenge. Um. <sighs> Alright, that lantern did come. Oh god, okay, no ape! <laughs> There's no infernal ape. Um. Okay, okay, here we go, guys. Ah, there is a lantern. My my situation has could happen, um, but there's no ape actually, which is a lot of pressure off. That means I can just use Alamola. Oh, I'm, I can do this. I can do this. If mana feed, man. One second. Okay, we're gonna lead. With, okay, actually, I want to run some calcs. Um, I kind of want to lead with Garchomp. Um, we actually both have some fun nicknames this time. We both said. Um, um, and so we, we have both some fun nicknames. Um, but anyways, let's. Uh, I want to calc how much damage I'm gonna do to Rhyperior. Earthquake's not going to do like any, um, but I can switch out of Rhyperior pretty easily. <sighs> um, honestly, Alamomola walls so much of this team, uh, but I'm just going to lead. Aerodactyl a pretty cool lead. He also isn't running his Toxic Spikes straight beyond. So, um, I can really gain some... <laughs> um... <sighs> I can definitely switch in Alamomola here and save this Pokemon, um... <sighs> He's gonna switch out... I don't want to reveal the band yet. Um, he's gonna switch out into Vile Plume. Um, Vile Plume was probably a safer lead, actually. And then I could switch him out. Yeah, uh, I kind of fucked up leading with. Uh... Right, Earthquake's gonna do a lot of damage. Um, what am I expecting him to want to switch out into? Um, something that can take a water type attack, probably the lantern. Um, so we're just gonna click Giga Drain here as he has no switch ins. Um, so he does opt to go into the Sneasel, um, I'm going to go into, um, Mutated Pondfish. As I, one Pokemon is down, um... <laughs> okay, one Pokemon down, that right period? Um, I'm not seeing any Stealth Rocks on this team, unless that Celebi is running Stealth Rocks, which it very well could be. Celebi is a very viable Stealth Rocks Pokemon. Um, I'm not seeing any Stealth Rocks users. As he does opt for... He 
does reveal a... Uh, Okay, um, that's bad. That is very bad. Um, I should have known. It wasn't that was such an obvious switch? Dan can predict that. What am I doing? Um, let's say he's Alamomola. Um, Jolly, let's say he's gotta be jolly, he's gotta be jolly. Um, let's say he's plus two. Knockoff's still not gonna do much damage, so I can pretty safely click Scald here um, and hope for a burn. <sighs> that doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but he does knock off my leftovers. This thing is scary. This thing is so scary. Um, we gotta get to a point where Manaphy can take a knockoff. Manaphy cannot take a knockoff. Um, I am expecting SD here. I am expecting SD here. Um, <laughs> okay, we're gonna see how much mana he does with U turn. Man, if he can achieve a kill here, potentially, actually, so I am just gonna go click U turn. Um, <sighs> this is kind of a defensive variant, um, because that should have knocked it out. Um, how much did knockoff do to me earlier? 37. This thing's ravaging my team. I'm getting the feeling that this thing doesn't... Why isn't Dan SDing again? Um... I have no priority, that's a problem. On top of which he's fishing for the crit, I don't want to lose... I don't want to lose mutated pond fish. Um, if he gets up to plus three, is this gonna be bad for me? Plus four. Knockoff on Mega Love Disc. He's not Life Orb. He's Noah. He's Eviolite. <sighs> if he gets up to.
Okay, I can take one from plus four, so I'm going to click protect here. Um, Um, how much did I do again? 62, 73, okay. Okay, okay, okay. There's still chance, there's still hope. He's not SD'ing ever, so I can now click... How much did Skull do at the beginning of the battle? Um, Skull did 15%. Um, with a burn, that would kill. With a burn, that would kill. Um, I didn't get the burn last time, do I still want to fish for it? Okay, no crit here is all I need. No crit here is all I need. <laughs> um, honestly, Vileplume could mess this battle up right now if there's no crit here. Um, As the, s the Sneasel is down, we are okay. Manaphy's band is gone, but that's not the end of the world. So hopefully, because we still have to be three of the things on this team, unless that Celebi is timid or jolly or something. <sighs> um, So, I want to check um, Greninja, Nature, Ability, um, okay, so let's say he's timid, because I know the hardest thing this guy has got to hit me is going to be Grass Knot, which isn't going to do like anything, so I can really safely click Toxic here. question is, what do I want to fodder? Um, <laughs> that's always a question. Um, dark Pulse, Item, Life Orb, that crit did how much to me? 70, how much did that crit do? 76, so this is definitely where he is. Um, so if I go into Garchomp here, Garchomp can eat take one of those pretty easily, pretty easily, and KO back, make it very hard for him to start switching stuff in. Um, as... As honestly, Lantern, I think, honestly might even get KO'd by that um, outrage. Nope, it doesn't. I also I will also want to keep Garchomp alive. It is a pretty good answer to Blastoise in a pinch if it's not running Ice Beam. Um, but I have no switch-ins to a Dark Pulse. Um, Wait, that was that. Is this Calc a crit? One second. Greninja, Dark Pulse, Special Attack, 252, Timid, Life Orb. That shouldn't do a whole lot. Um, how much will Poison Jab do? Poison Jab won't net me a KO, um, which is unfortunate. I want to keep this thing alive though, it's, it's going to help a lot with Blastoise. Blastoise cannot touch this thing. Um, and it gives me a one guaranteed answer to Blastoise. Although, I have a few of those. No, I don't. No, I don't. It's got to be. I got to save this thing, keep this thing alive. 
Um, good option would be to fodder off Manaphy, although Manaphy can get a U-turn off on a lot of things and do some damage there, along with knocking off items, so I kind of want to keep that alive. Uxie is kind of useless for the most part, um, beyond just reflecting the ship. Um, Honestly, it's, I think I'm going to fodder off Uxie, and I really don't need it in this battle, and I'd rather keep everything else healthy, everything else still has some form of utility in one way or another, um, as Uxie can take one, actually, which is awesome. Um, and I can proceed to go for the... Honestly, is it worth setting up rocks? Worth just clicking knockoff? I'm just going to click the stealth rocks. Um, If we do get a kill, so no 6-0, but that's fine. I didn't really care about the 6-0 anyways. Um, I could wish back up with Alamomola. <sighs> I really don't want to be stuck leaving Garchomp in on anything with Click and Outrage, so... Although I have something, I have other moves to hit on things with, on, that, on this team with. Alamomola, Mega Love Disc is going to be taking... That's not safe switching at all, whatsoever. Um, Although I can switch in this basically into everything on this team at this point. So I think the play is going to be just, unless this thing's running a weird water shuriken on here somewhere, which is totally an option actually, you totally do that. Um, I want to keep this alive. Garchomp can take a water shuriken really well. Um, let's say he's naive natured and Garchomp is the bulk. Garchomp has some bulk luckily. We have some bulk on our Garchomp. Um, Water Trick is not going to do like anything to Garchomp, so I'm just going to go into Garchomp. Um, as I can honestly just, he's not going to save this thing, um, so I can honestly just click. Um, we're going to count how much Bio Plume. I'm, I'm thinking ahead a lot more than you guys probably realize right now, because what I'm thinking right now, let me explain kind of what my thought process is is if I click come here and click Poison Jab or Earthquake, his best switching is going to be um, either Lantern or Blastoise. Blastoise can handle Vileplume, Lantern cannot. I can switch Vileplume in after that. But what I'm trying to think of in my head is what the chances are um, that... Uh, actually, I want to make sure I outspeak Greninja. It's sort of really stupid if I don't outspeak Greninja. Um, 377. Bust out the the old calc. 377 times point. Um, sorry, 254 times 1.5. 381. So I do have speed, no problems. Um, anyways, if he goes into the Blastoise, I want to make sure that Vileplume Vileplume can't really switch in. If that makes any sense, and I want to be in a, have a Pokemon that can switch in. Um, I think the play here is going to be to click Earthquake. Actually, probably Dragon Claw, honestly. Dragon Claw hits everything pretty hard. Um, the best play, I mean, the thing is, like, there's a best play for whatever he wants to do. Um, I don't really have switches to a lot of these Pokemon right now. Is Losing Uxie maybe wasn't the best idea, because Uxie was going to help a lot with that Celebi. That Celebi is a set-up Celebi. I'm kind of screwed. Um, So actually, might be worth just clicking Earthquake, um, as the uh, Greninja goes down. That Greninja causes quite a bit of grief. Um, but now this Ice Beam is going to cause us quite a bit more. Blastoise. If I can get Vileplume in, we're going to be in a good spot. If I can get Vileplume in. Um, if I can't, which I'm really struggling with right now, um, Mega Blastoise. Oh my lord. Um, Blastoise.
How much does Alamola take from the ice beam? Not a whole lot. I can take a scald or a surf or anything he wants to go for. Please don't burn. No burn. That's good. That's good. Um, and now I'm going to get some more healing. It's fodder off Manaphy, I think, honestly, is what has to happen here. Um, This thing just has actually let's let's calc how much that scald did. How much did that scald do? Scald did 18, so he's not running max. Let's say he's like timid. Nope. That scald actually that's so he's probably no no investment in skill. He's probably like max HP. Um So I can Vileplume can like take that Dark Pulse probably. Um can take a Dark Pulse and an Ice Beam, probably, especially with Black Sled. So I am just going to click Giga Drain here. Um, so I did get my, I did manage to get my Vileplum in while keeping Mana Fee alive, which is good. I want to check that Celebi. I don't know, honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, this battle's so far from overkill. And the obstacle for Dark Pulse. Interesting play for sure. Um, but the thing is, I do kind of. I'm gonna click synthesis here. Um, get some of my health back. This thing never went for ice beam. Probably doesn't have it. It's probably like scald. He's running. D Ready? He's running stab. He's running Rapid Spin to clear hazards, because that's his only way to clear hazards for things like Sneasel. He's running Dark Pulse, because he knows Dark, everybody thinks Dark is super effective against my team, because I have a bunch of Psychic types. I'm not that stupid, I'm not going to make my team super weak to Dark all the time. And then finally, Scald, Dark Pulse, Rapid Spin, um, and then in the last slot, I don't know, some other cover room, but if he's not clicking Ice Beam, he's crazy. <laughs> This also isn't doing like any damage. Um, I want to see how fast Lantern is. Um, I just want to heal. <laughs> Please don't flinch this time. Alright, so I think I am just going to click Giga Drain here. Um, I just want to click Giga Drain! I'm kind of tired of this. I'm getting tired of this. Um, I, I don't want to run out of syntheses. So we're going to try to see how much Aerodactyl takes from a Dark Pulse. Doesn't take a whole lot. And Earthquake will probably KO back. Um, kind of want to keep Manaphy alive still, although maybe that's hopefully that's not stupid of me. Um, as we're going to go. Yeah, he's probably defensive or something. I think I got him. I'm gonna have to click Stone Edge, um, and hopefully not end up foddering off Aerodactyl for free. Um, as I'm tired of these 
damn. <sighs> I'm tired of these damn uh, flinches. I guess that's kind of what he's fishing for. Um, but we do connect on the Stone Edge and take another Mon down. Um, oh my god, Dan, what are you doing to me, dude? What are you doing to me? Um, I want to calc how much this thing does to a defensive lantern. I'm gonna say supportive pivot. It's gonna do a lot of damage, actually. Um, we have we have a lot of chats going on here. Um, as he does bring in, uh, Celebi. So I'm gonna calc the average Celebi. I know we have some answers to Celebi in the back, um, so I'm just gonna click Home Clause here. If as they do, she does click. She does click Giga Drain, but that's okay because I can just do this and hopefully no outspeed. I'm curious to see what the if there's gonna be an outspeed here. Um, Celebi's Giga Drain did how much damage to me? 39. So that could have been a max roll, or it could be offensive. And if it's offensive, it's gonna have speed here. Um, <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No, Dan. Garchomp and Lantern have to be able to take this thing on. U-turn did no damage. But we're gonna calculate how much U-turn just did. From 252 Adamant. Adamant U turn did that much to Celebi. So he's probably max defensive Celebi. With now, is that now he's max defensive Celebi up at plus two? Um, Selby, learn Selby did not learn Icy Wind. I think I want to fought. I don't want him to. S the only thing is that. So here's my thing. I'm fine with foddering off Alamola. I don't want to be put in a position where he has synthesis. Oh man, Dan never ceases to amaze, right? Um. No damage. Um, Outrage is going to do like no damage. Sludge Bomb is going to do like barely any. And if this thing is running Psychic, which it might very well be. Um, I'll have to leave Garchomp. How much does Garchomp take from, uh... How much does Garchomp take from... Takes that much from Giga Drain? It's, it's gonna live. It'll live. If you click Giga Drain here, it's gonna live. Mary Jane takes not as much. Actually, no, I'm, I'm probably fine um, if there's Psychic Stab here. I'd be fine, actually, because man, if you can outspeed and click U-turn, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> um, I got this. I'm, I, well, maybe I don't got this. Maybe Dan Lantern's gonna wreck my butt. We'll see, because 
there's I have a play here because if that game Celebi is <sighs> if that Celebi doesn't have leftovers. Um, and so, unless this thing is Shukaberry, um, a great game, unless this thing is Shukaberry, um, oh my god. Ooh, well played, well played, Daniel. <sighs> so, damn man, if he did work out. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that was a great game. Had me on my toes at the end there with that weakness policy Salabi. Um, well played, my friend. Well played. Uh, it's always, it's never, you never cease to cease to entertain. I, it's never cease to entertain as entertain. Uh, <laughs> um, but hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, obviously, there'll be much discussion of a battle afterwards. But until then, I will see you guys later. Kraken Nation out. Psychic hits Infernape back for a two-hit KO. Knockoff just being general utility. Um, I don't really need damage on knockoff, which is why I have the attack dropping nature. Um, I really wanted to maximize my bulk, so I didn't want to be investing into a minus defense nature. And I wanted to secure that.